Hello everyone, I'm Lu Qin. This week's class is a 50-minute unyasa flow designed to keep your flexibility and strength, to find balance and inner serenity. We will be working on the full body with a nice long shavasana at the end. During our practice, please be careful. Rest when you need to. You can always go down to a child pose at any point. Then follow along when you feel like to. Please prepare a yoga block. And now let's get started. We're going to start in a seated position. So go ahead, make your way down, leg crossed, root through your sit bones. Lengthen your spine and shrug your shoulders a few times. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and tuck your chin slightly. Lengthen the crown of your head up towards the sky. Then close your eyes. Begin to connect with your breath. Inhale, fresh energy come in through your nose. Exhale, all the air goes out through your nose. Engage your ujjayi pranayama. Place a slight constriction on the back of your throat. Inhale as if you're sipping water through a straw. Exhale as if you're trying to fog up a mare. Inhale, push the belly out. Exhale, draw the navel towards your spine to encourage the full oxygen exchange. Observing your inhales and exhales, allowing your body to settle in. At your next inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, draw your chin to your chest. Inhale, bring the chin back. Exhale, lift your chin up. One more round. Follow your breath. Lengthening the front and the back of your neck. Inhale, bring your chin back. Exhale, gaze to your left. And then Gaze to the right. One more time. Follow your breath. Strong gaze at the end of the exhale. Feel the energy rise through your eyes. Chin back to center. Draw your left ear towards the left shoulder. And then right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder and hold here. Extend your right arm out. Move the arm. Options to place your left palm over your right ear. No need to add any tension. Simply allow the weight of the arm to assist the stretch. Inhale, draw your arms in. Let your head rise. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Reach the left arm out. Move the arm. Options to place the right palm over your left ear. Inhale, draw your arms in and let your head rise. Exhale, draw your chin to your chest. Neck row clockwise. Two rounds. Keep your spine nice and tall. Row your neck slowly and mindfully. Loosen up every muscle fibers and connective tissues on your neck and on your shoulders.
counterclockwise. This gentle and slow neck movement are so instrumental in maintaining the blood circulation to our brain. So often these days, our neck in a fixed position, cranking in front of a screen. Bring your chin back to center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers and press the palms towards the sky. Bring the arm closer to your ears and then stretch to the right. Stretch to the left. Turn your chest a little. Slowly release the arms down. Left arm cross over your chest. Right elbow bend. Hug the left arm closer towards the body. Feel the stretch on the outside of the left shoulder. Lower the arms and switch. Now feel the stretch on the outside of the right shoulder. Slowly release the arms down. We're going to come to a tabletop position. Stack shoulders over your wrists and hips over your knees. Spread your fingers wide and press down each pad of the fingers. There's a good option is to make a fist and press the knuckles down. This is great if you have a shoulder issues and also take the pressure away from the wrists. Inhale, call pose. Drop your belly and lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Continue and follow your breath. For the next cat pose, tuck the navel, send your hips towards the right, then draw them to the left. Then back to a call. The next cat pose, tuck the navel, send the hips to the left, then draw them to the right. Two more cycles of cat and cow. This modified cat pose loosens up the psoas muscles. A muscle group governs our hip mobility. Back to neutral tabletop, then send your hips back to a child pose. Palms to prayer over the back of your head. Observe three deep cycles of breath. If you move your elbows further apart, you will feel the stretch between the shoulder blades. Release your hands down and come up to all fours. Slowly rock your hips forward and back a few times. Spine back to neutral. Flip the left palm. The back of the hand is flat on the mat. Turn the crease of the elbow facing forward. The right wrist bears more weight at this point. But feel the stretch on the back of the hand and the back of the arm. Change. The back of the right hand is down this time. Remember to turn the crease of the elbow. Flip the palm back, curl the toes under, 
Lift your hips high to down dog, and pedal off your feet for the first down dog. Move the hips, lengthen through the side of your body. Find what feels good. Back to your neutral down dog. Slide the torso forward a little. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Point your buttocks straight up, rooting down evenly through your palms, and press your shoulders away. Lengthen the entire spine. Draw the heels up and down a few times. Then lock your feet to your hands for ragdoll. Interlace your elbows and let your head and neck hang heavy. Sway a little from side to side, releasing tension from the lower spine. Switch up the arms. Release the palms to the mat. Toe heel your feet together. Round your spine a lot. Engage your core. Begin to back row yourself up, one vertebrae up at a time. Your head come up the last. Once you up, row your shoulders up and back a few times. Hands to heart center, Samasthiti. Make sure your feet are parallel. Press down the big toes. Rock your weight a little front and back, side to side, until you find that sweet spot where you can press evenly through the four corners of your feet. Lift your inner arches to activate your ankles. Lift your kneecaps. But without locking the knees to activate your quads, draw the tailbone down, navel up and in, and shoulder blades down. This is the blueprint for all standing yoga postures, the standing mountain pose, strong and sturdy. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hinge your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Deep inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Forward fold. This time, cross the arms behind your legs. Bring the belly closer to your thigh. Release your hands. Inhale, look up. Exhale, plant your palms on the mat. Shoulder width distance, step your feet back to a high plank pose. Hold and breathe. Press and lift through your heels. Engage your strong core. Turn the, the crease of the elbow facing forward. That helps to line up the shoulder joints. Another inhale, push up from the earth. Exhale, high to low plank. Knees down, chest down, chin down. Slide your torso forward. Inhale, up dog. Hold and breathe. Press down the tops of your feet. Lift your kneecaps to activate your quads. Deep breath in. Exhale, curl the toes under and lift your hips high to down dog. Observe five cycles of breaths. Press into your thumbs and your index fingers. Takes the pressure from the wrists. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, press your chest towards your thighs. Try to lift the hips higher. Soft bend of your knees are always welcome. The heels of the feet don't have to reach the mat, but you have that intention trying to reach the heels down. 
Last cycle of rest here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose, arms up over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back to high plank pose. Take breath in. Exhale, bend the elbow back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Observe a breath here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk or flow to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Hold and breathe. Rock the weight to your heels. Move your hips back as if you're searching for an invisible chair. Keep the chest lifted. Finding the blueprint of the mountain pose in this chair pose. Draw the tailbone down, navel up and in, shoulder blades down. Options to bring your hands to your heart. Breath in, breath out, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, make your way down to Chaturanga. Take your options. Lower the knees down if you feel like to. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, to low lunge. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Hold and breathe. Back foot parallel with the short edge of the mat. Stack the front knee over ankle, not beyond. Aim the front knee towards the outer edge of the front foot. Press down the short edge of the back foot and pull the back arm back a little. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, extended side angle. Front arm forward and down, back arm to the sky. You may rest the elbow on the thigh or use the elbow to hook up the inner thigh to give the thigh an external rotation. The other arm can go along the air. Pressing down the short edge of the back foot, turn your chest open. We're going to change. Slowly inhale, front arm to the sky, reverse warrior. Keep the bend of the front knee. Back hand rests on the leg. Bring the arm closer to your ear and pronate the arm. Turn the triceps in towards your face. This helps to prevent the tendon overload. Gaze to your hands. Deep breath in and reach up. Exhale, plant palms. Draw the leg back. Lower the knees down first if you like. Slide the chest forward, inhale, up dog. Lift the thighs and kneecaps up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, ride like high. Exhale, step to low lunge. Use your right hand to help out the foot when needed. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Hold the pose and breathe. Lined up the front heel with the back arch. Relax your shoulders, open your chest, and lengthen through your arms. Take a breath in, exhale, extended side angle. Front arm forward and down, back arm to the sky. Take your options, open the chest slightly more towards the sky. Change, inhale, reverse warrior, right arm to the sky. 
hold and breathe. Feel the stretch on the right, right side of the body. Breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, plant the palms on the mat, draw the leg back, chaturanga. Take your options. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Serve three cycles of breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Options, take your hands to your heart. One more breath. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lift the heels up, bend the knees, hips high. And then slide the torso forward, knees down. And sit on your heels. Bring the arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades together for a gentle chest opener. Gentle and deep abdominal breathing. Squeeze the triceps towards each other. Release your fingers, arms up and down. Lengthen the right arm up, left arm cross over your belly. Feel the stretch between the ribs on the right side. And switch the arms. Left arm up. Release your arms down and then make your way to sit on the center of the mat. Knees bend, extend your arms forward. With your core engaged, lower your back down onto the mat. Moving on to core exercises for pair four Supta Konasana setups. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Bring your hands behind your neck. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your chest up. Gaze towards the sky. Elbows open wide. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift your chest. Keep it going. Working on the core strength. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift straight up. Spread the collarbones. And continue. Good job. Almost there. Here for three. Full body stretch in two. And one. Arms over your head. Full body stretch. Take a deep inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Bring your shin parallel to the ground. Prepare for bicycle twist. Inhale, lift the chest. Right elbow to left knee. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left elbow to the right knee. Reaching to the outside of the knee. It's the elbow to knee, not knees to elbow. Keep the gaze to the direction of your twist. Keep going at your own pace. Options to lower the feet on the floor. For some of you who might want more intensity, you might 
keep the legs straight. Keep going. Good for you. We're almost there. Last three, two, and one. Relax everything down. Full body stretch. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth. Exhale. One more time. One more. We love the deep breath. Bend your knees up. Roll yourself front and back, and come to a seat on the center of your mat. Feet hip width, spine nice and straight. Lift your chest and lean back. Engage your core. Prepare for boat pose. You can stay here. This is boat pose, or you might lift your legs up, the shins parallel to the floor, or extend your legs long. I find it easier to have the arms to help out with this core exercise. The inhale, open the arms out, and exhale, squeeze the arms towards the center. Continue. To use our arms to pump more energy and strength into our core. Three, two, one. Lower the feet. Good job, everyone. Curl yourself over your knees. Relax for few breaths. Slowly come onto your knees. Extend your legs back to a plank pose, and then push the hips back to down dog. Observe a few cycles of breath here before we moving on to our crescent lunge theories. In this downward dog, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, press your chest. Towards your thighs. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, all breath out. Inhale, lift the heels off the mat. Exhale, press the heels down. One more time. Lift the heels. Press down. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale to low lunge. Each feet have its own lane. All ten toes pointed forward. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Hold and breathe. Press down the big toes, front and back. Front knee over ankle, not beyond. Keep the hips square. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Options to lower down the back knee, elbow outside of the front thigh. If this is hard on the shoulder, press the elbow on top of the thigh. Lengthen your spine and lift your torso away from your thigh. Twist from the lower back. Here for three, runner's lunge in two, and one runner's lunge. Bring your hands to the inside of your front foot. Press into your hands or your forearms. Options to lift the back knee off the floor. The tendency is to flare the front knee out, but draw the front knee towards the midline instead. This is not a working posture. Feel the pull of the gravity. If your knees are up, lower the knees down. Press into your hands. Send your hips back to half split. Flex the front ankle. 
Keep the spine lengthened. Point your fingers down. Feel the nice stretch on the hamstring through the glutes and the lower spine. The hamstring connects to the pelvis. When our hips are tight, a tight hamstring is often the cause. Bring the knee back to all fours. Take your options for Chaturanga here. Then move into a up dog. Observe two breath here. Breath in. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step to low lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Hold and breathe. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Find your options and find the twist through the lower spine. Gaze towards your shoulder or the side wall. Breathe into your thoracic spine and your lower back. Here for three. Runner's lunge is the release in two. And one, runner's lunge. This is not a working posture, so let the gravity to help you. You can lift the back knee off the mat if you like. Back to your palms and send the hips back, half split. Then the front leg, flex the ankle. Flip the toes of the back foot, press down the top of the foot. Keep the chest lifted or you might fold over the leg. Stretch and lengthen the hamstring and through your glutes and the lower back. Slowly lift your chest, bring the leg back, knees together, then move the feet to the side, come to an easy cross-legged position. Reach your arms up with an inhale, exhale, twist to your right. Gentle but deep breathing. Bring the arms back up, breath in, and breath out, twist to your left. Inhale, arms rise, exhale, hinge your hips, and fold. Relax your hands or arms down and give your spine a nice release. Walk your hands to the left. Walk the hands back to the right. Bring your hands back, come to all fours, and then lower down to the elbows. Bring, lengthen the legs back, 
Next, we're going to work on strengthening our back muscles. Prepare for low cobra. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Hug the elbows in. Press down the tops of your feet. Lift your kneecaps to activate your quads. And slowly inhale, lift your chest. Feel the activation of your lower spine and the spread of your collarbones. Here for three, lower the chin down in two. And one, chin down. Bring your left ear to the mat, arms long by your sides, palms face up. Bring your chin back to center, bend the knees, hands grab onto the ankle or your yoga pants. For floor bow, option one is to keep the thighs down, bring the heels towards your glutes, and lift your chest and lift your chin. If you can, lift the thighs off the floor. Rock yourself to the soft part of your belly. Squeeze your triceps towards the midline. Open your chest. Squeeze the knees in. Slowly release your legs down. Bring the right ear to the mat. Bring your chin back to center. Bring your palms to near your waist. Curl the toes down and push yourself up. And begin to round your spine, even walking your knees forward a little as if you're in a big cat pose. Then settle into a child pose. Reach the hips towards your heels. Rest your forehead on the mat. This rounding of the back helps to neutralize our spine after the back bend we just did. Now walk your hands to your right. Stretch the left side of the body. Walk the hands back to the left. Stretch the right side. Palms back to center and come up to sit on your heels. Roll up the right edge of the mat. Place the right knee on top. Lengthen the left leg straight. Keep the ankle flexed. It started to fold over your leg. Feel the nice stretch on the hamstring through the glutes. Slowly come up and switch sides. Roll the left edge of the mat. This helps to cushion the knee. Lengthen the right leg. Flex the ankle. Hinge your hips. Slowly fold over the leg. Walk your hands back and lift your chest. Bring both legs in front of you and start to shake the knees.
Keep the knees bent, flexed ankles. Prepare for staff pose. Spine straight, knees bent to any amount. Hinge your hips. Press your lower spine forward. Try to bring your belly to your thigh. If the back feels okay, you might try to lengthen the leg and lengthen it to straight. Walk your hands back. Lift your chest. Bring your feet to the side. Come to all fours and prepare for half pigeon. I will guide you through different ways of entering half pigeon. From a tabletop position, move the left knee to outside of left wrist. Place the shin at about 45 degree angle. Flex the ankle. This is important in helping to preserve the knee joint. Then slide the other toes down towards that bottom edge of the mat. Keep your chest lifted. We often move into half pigeon from down dog. I will show you how. Reach the left leg up to three leg the dog. And then aim the knee towards the left wrist. The rest is the same. Place a block under the left sits bone. It helps to keep the hips square. Spine vertical for three breaths. Feeling the stretch on the left hamstring, the glutes, and the lengthening on the right hip crease. Also try to keep the right knee lifted for deeper stretch. Walk your hands forward. Rest your head on your arms. Use your breath to create more openness and space within your body. Take your breath to where it feels tight. They say we tend to store unwanted emotions in our hips. As it turned out, the vagus nerve has a branch in the hip region. Slowly come up, remove the block, come back to all fours, half pigeon on the right side. You may move into the pose from all fours or from a down dog. Bring your right knee to outside of your right wrist. Work your shin forward to about 45 degree. Flex your right ankle. Extend the left toes towards the bottom edge of the mat. Spine vertical for three breaths. Interlace your fingers behind your back, then forward fold. Use your breath to create that space within your muscles. Letting go tension, and letting go stress. You might notice this side is different. Body is not symmetric. Just notice. I have more flexibility on my right hip. That is why I'm taking the block away, in case you are wondering. Slowly back to your hands and lift your chest. Bring the leg forward and make your way down onto your back. I will show you a wonderful option in place of half pigeon. That is the supan figure four. Place the right ankle over the left knee. Pull the knee towards the left shoulder and right elbow press the right knee away. Also trying to draw the left hip flush with the ground. For some of us, we may have knee issues or other spine issues. This is a safe way to open the hips. 
switch sides. Left elbow, press the left knee away and pull the right knee towards your right shoulder. Try to keep the left hip flush with the ground. Lower both feet down. Plant the feet parallel and hip width. Stack your knees over your ankles. Prepare for bridge pose. If you have a block, place the block in between the flushy bit of your thighs. Walk your fingertips closer towards your heels. Tuck your chin a little. Draw your navel towards your spine to protect your back. Then begin to lift your hips up. Pressing down the big toes to activate your thigh muscles. Squeeze into that block. If you don't have a block, imagining there is one. Push the back of your head down and gaze up. And press your arms down. Options to interlace your fingers under your hips. Hold for three, two, one. Slowly lower one vertebrae down at a time. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Let your knees open to the side. Place one palm over your heart, one over your navel. Observe three cycles of breath here. Bring your knees back together and followed by a plow pose. Stretch your legs up, engage your core, and continue to roll your hips towards your head. Bring the legs to parallel with the mat. Bring your palms to support your back. If you can, reach the toes beyond your head. In a controlled motion, begin to roll your spine back. Bring both legs up to center. This time, happy baby. Opening up your hips one last time. Rock yourself a little left and right. You can apply a counteraction between the hands and the feet. This helps to maintain the neutral curve on the lower back. If it feels good, straighten out your legs here to get a hamstring stretch. When you're ready, slowly lower your feet down to the mat, preparing for our final resting pose. You can either come into Shavasana with the legs extended long, or come into a supine butterfly with soles of the feet together and the knees opens out wide. So find whatever variation speaks to you here. Then place your left palm over your heart, right palm over your belly. When you're ready, we will find a deep cleansing breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, big exhale out. Release the breath. Let go of any last bit of lingering tension and give yourself full permission to rest here. Allowing the breath to enter and leave the body naturally. Allowing the thoughts come and go as well. We will be here for the next few minutes and I will call you back when it is time.
Bring your awareness back. We go your toes and your fingers. Roll yourself to your right side. With your eyes remain closed, assist yourself up to a comfortable seat. Guide your hands to heart center. Gently bow for our time together on the mat today. Bring your thumbs to the third eye. May this practice and beyond bring you peace, joy, and contentment. Namaste.